Hi everyone, I'm Christoph Schneider from the Ruhr University of Bochum. I'm presenting secondary analysis called variability of acute response on resting heart rate variability following high intensity interval training. The background of the study was that exercise intensity is typically suggested to be a main determinant of acute HRV response after endurance based exercise, while weight related HRV reduces after training typically up to two days or longer after HIIT training. The question was, can we consistently observe such patterns at the individual level? We therefore reanalyzed some data from a study that was aimed to investigate active recovery effects on training adaptations while using three weeks of progressive loading followed by one week of taper and implementing different interval training settings throughout the week. The main study design is visualized in the upper figure. We recorded resting supine HIV measures for eight weeks, two weeks prior, during and two weeks after the training period. Heart rate and the natural log of the RMSSD were calculated. Two weeks baseline variability was assessed as standard deviation and acute HIV responses prior and post high intensity interval training were evaluated as means and standard deviations. We included athletes if at least five replications were available per athlete and therefore we could include seven athletes of the original sample of 26 male athletes in our analysis. As you can see in the lower figure, the green squares indicate the measures prior and post high intensity interval training while the dotted lines represent the acute responses. On this slide you see the results for the RMSSD. In the upper figure there are the paired individual data displayed and in the lower figure you can see the respective change scores with the green bars indicating the means. The average acute response was only half of the baseline variability and if we look at the variability in individual responses we also see that the variability is almost twice the average response. So this together may indicate a poor signal to noise ratio and although the literature says that the main effect for intensity seems quite clear, from our experience of this data one should not expect to see meaningful changes in HRV after every single hit session. If you're interested in more details you can find all the material at the Open Science Framework using the hyperlink or the QR code and feel free to contact me via email or Twitter if you want to chat further.